We are live at Skinnin B. Johnson Stadium in International Speedway in Baron Grizzlejock, Georgia. The Ork George cheering section is already in the spirit of things I can see. They've already dismembered the opposing team's mascot. <laughs> Nicely done, great fans. Did you know that being an NFL mascot is the leading cause of death for overqualified college graduates? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Yorks of Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on that bitch. to the moon another loser bites the dust in the mfl winning is really about how much you want it bricks well he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy yeah, that's a good point grim and it's first and ten a great throw and a great catch but sadly oh he just got crushed Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and five. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Second down and ten. Two, and they call it a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw it. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite.
Third down and look out. That's an all-out attack on the QB. If this guy can talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Third and two. smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the nfl <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back when he bites the dust they can only pass yeah, well at least they don't have to forfeit man that's right but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers first down and five And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but... What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. says who's next oh what the brutal hit and it's first and ten First down. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hit.
tits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well, <laughs> <laughs> The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out on the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dive. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last before they have to forfeit. And that'll be second and eight to go. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. QB says, I don't know almost. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned MFL rule. <laughs> and it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim! That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. First down of seven. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and seven. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. He refuses to go down. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> this will be your time. Don't do me. 
First and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. This guy's a brick shit house. Just a great run for a touchdown. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected. Those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Oh man, I can take death in this memorament, but that was that was really just gross. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like total shit. Oh, that with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. First and ten. Looks like the defense called a giant. Oh, welcome to Bubble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And that'll be second and eight to go. Slipped away like, oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Man, oh, man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crap. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ant smiler. Did the shock treatment work? The Orts of Hazard had their butts, hands, and heads handed to them today. They lose by forfeit. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chunks choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Today's 
game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.